guys welcome back to the channel today's episode all about big glide baits we're going to show you some video of uh footages of, of me on the live scope i'm going to show you why it's important the settings i use and this is what it catches this is a big custom glide bait uh, they're not cheap but i will tell you this much they're worth every single penny let's go all right guys first let's talk about the setup i'm using a uh of course the pc fun spark pro uh no this is actually just the spark i'm using it in an eight to one gear ratio now that may be a little fast for some people's thinking there's two ways to work this bait um, you can work it with the reel or you work it with the rod but let's talk about all the uh, aspects of the setup we have I got a seven foot uh, uh, Air XD rod, Arid X rod, whatever you call it by Daiwa, seven foot medium action. You're throwing a big bait. It's got a lot of weight. You want that medium action in order to absorb some shock where these fish won't throw the bait. It's very, very important. Too heavy of an action, they get a lot of leverage and they can really almost slingshot that bait out of their mouth. That's number one. I'm throwing it on 50 pound braid. Uh, this J braid, you can use any braid you want. Uh, you know how I am about braid. I love it. Um, secondly, um, this is a Biggs um, custom bait. It's handmade. Uh, I love it. This is a six inch version in thread fin shad. Beautiful hand painted. Runs perfect. About two foot deep when you're gliding it. Um, you can get it deeper if you let it sink. The back is made out of uh, like a... Uh, hairbrush bristle to make the tail beautiful tail has a i mean this is a it has wonderful it comes with great components uh great hooks it uh just runs immaculate biggest thing put it on a big clip heavy duty clip 85 pound clip or whatever the heaviest you can find like i said seven foot rod i use a little bit higher speed reel now there's two ways to work this bait and what i'm going to do is is I'm gonna I'm gonna show you first uh, how I like to work it, then secondly I'll give you an idea of how it can be worked. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna stow it. I'm gonna get yeah, well you can concentrate on just the reel on this one. When you throw it, you can do one of two things. You can do half reels. Like that, just nice and slow, patient, half reels. That'll make that bait walk. Uh, that's doable. It's not my favorite style. The other style is you can walk the dog just like you're walking a frog, a Zara spook. That medium rod tip is the key though. It's gotta have that. You wanna be patient when you're walking it. Don't get in too much of a hurry because then it dips and dives too much. You wanna be patient, you wanna let it walk, walk, walk. It's not a Zara spook walk. It's a lot slower, uh, almost a frog walk. And that lets the bait stay down and it lets it glide and almost feel like it's turning around. Uh, it doesn't turn around, but it has that feel. And if you've ever looked at Threadfin Chad in the water, that's what they do. They're, choo, 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 choo. you know, like that. So that's that part. Secondly, um, I'm going to let you see what the bait looks like in the water. For that, we're going to go to our GoPro camera and we'll take a look at that. All right, guys, this first cast that you see right here, this is actually me working it with the reel. Uh, short, quick turns of the handle. I'm not letting it sink. I'm trying to keep it up high in the water column just where you can be able to see it actually work. Now, the second one you see is me working it like I'm walking the dog, essentially, um, which is my favorite way to do it. You can see, a, and, and like, I'm, I am working this a lot quicker than normal. If I was working it slower, I would... Uh, or regular, I would work it a lot slower to get it more depth and more walk. Just wanted you to be able to see the bait. But let's get straight into these live scope images. Oh my gosh. First of all, you want to notice top right hand corner. Notice the beam is angled up high in the water. That's going to help eliminate the bottom. Darken it up a lot. Now look right in the middle of the screen. Coming straight down the middle. That, my friends, is the glide bait. Um, it is an essential tool for glide baits because bass have are known 
to follow glide baits for long distances before uh, before they take them. And if you're reeling it in, working a glide bait, you can't always see them. Um, so look, there it is coming by the right side of the, uh, the trees right in the middle again. Now, the, key, the reason this is important and it's important to use your live scope is if you get it halfway the boat and you don't see a fish trailing it, go ahead and reel it in. Don't waste a whole cast. But if you throw it out there and you see a fish um, uh, trailing the bait, and here it comes on the left. It's almost directly in the middle of the screen. Uh, you can see it real shiny. Um, it's coming. You see a fish actually trailing it right now. There's actually a fish trailing it getting down there. But what I'm saying is it's, it's so important to use the live scope in perspective mode. The angle of the transducer is very, very important. You want to darken that bottom as much as possible. And that will help your bait pop. It'll help the fish pop because that's all you're worrying about. You don't care what's on the bottom. I don't care uh, about any of the cover, the structure. I'm throwing it pretty much around visible cover, you know, seawalls, uh, trees, uh, stuck up logs, you know, things that are that are showing in the water. And then you can watch that bait come back. If you see a fish trailing it, you keep working it all the way to the boat. If you get halfway back or you don't see anything doing it, bam, bam, reel that thing in, get another cast out. These these casts take a long time. Here's another cast coming in. Um, it's coming on the left side of the trees. I'm reeling it right through, uh, you know, two, two or three fish right there. Um, didn't actually catch one, but guys, very, very awesome, awesome bait. All right, guys, that is how you use your Garmin Live Scope big swim baits these are excuse me glide baits to catch giant bass but target giant bass and if you like to take big fish you're not going to get 100 bites if you think you are don't throw this bait throw something else if you want 100 bites but if you're wanting the biggest fish in the lake or the biggest fish for that day always trying to catch that five six seven pounder throw something like this throw the big a rigs throw these type baits you're not going to get a lot of bites i got three bites all day three but I caught a big one. And guys, that's what that's why we throw them. But thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Make sure you hit the like button and you know, ring that bell.